I certify under penalty of perjury that I have reviewed this I-129 petition for non-immigrant workers and that all of the information contained in the petition is complete, true, and correct. The United States Immigration and Nationality Act is over 1,000 pages long. Within these pages, the INA defines 75 different categories of non-immigrant visa. Located somewhere between the N7 and P1 category is the O1 visa, intended for aliens of extraordinary ability. As an immigration officer, I navigate the Byzantine field of immigration and nationality law. I am an expert in domestic religious laws, foreign customs, tribal traditions, and legislative precedent concerning adoption, marriage, divorce, and citizenship. What I am not an expert in is what constitutes an extraordinary acrobat. The regulations indicate that an alien can establish extraordinary ability through the receipt of a major internationally recognized award. The petitioner states, in 1989, I reached the apex of my sport by winning the gold medal in the European World Cup. However, the petitioner has not demonstrated that her 1989 European Cup gold medal constitutes the apex of her sport. It would appear the apex of her sport would be reached by winning an Olympic gold medal in gymnastics. This Olympic competition is televised worldwide and attracts heavy media attention. The petitioner has not participated in any Olympic Games much less won a medal at such an event. The petitioner submits various medals for which the record offers no explanation as to their significance. The petitioner also submits a copy of an identity card, which refers to the petitioner as a master of sports. This title is given annually to the athlete that is selected as the best in their respective field. But there is nothing to corroborate the petitioner's claim that only one acrobat receives this title in a given year. The petitioner's card is labeled number 172. It should be reiterated that the alien must show sustained national and international acclaim at the highest level in their field. The petitioner's competitive certificates are dated between 1995 and 2001. There is no indication that the petitioner has competed in over 15 years. The burden of proof remains entirely with the petitioner. Here, the petitioner has not sustained that burden. The petition is denied.